Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your daily reading for today. Today is Thursday. It is already February the 25th. I hope you guys are having an amazing Thursday. Let's hop in, my loves. Let it be great, of course. Let's see what's going on with you all as a collective. Do excuse my voice. My voice is going in and out. I do apologize, guys. So I may not be long today because I have to do some personals and finish the boxes. So let's hop in, loves, and let's see what we got. Yesterday, I said I was going to do finances and career, and I forgot. So we're going to start out with that, and then we'll hop into the love portion. This is a general reading. It is a collective reading, guys. So do only take what resonates with you. Let's see. Spirit Universe messages for the collective for today. Thursday, February the 25th. Let's take a look at your finances and career. see we have a queen of pentacles we have a fool and we have the will of fortune so this is great there's a blessing in the skies coming in money is going to be in your pockets very soon we have a queen of pentacles the fool in the world card some type of blessing in the skies or some type of sudden change we have three major candles here with the queen of pentacles i'm loving this energy it took a while for this to come in for you guys with the Knight of Pentacles, but it's finally here. This is something that you guys have been birthed in and creating, manifesting with the Empress, very much in your power, loving this. It's something that is finally ready to manifest. So I'm loving the energy for you guys. Um, now, if this isn't your career, it took you guys a while to shift out of that energy, meaning that you weren't, I'm not going to say you weren't happy within your career, but you were waiting for the right time. Because the Knight of Pentacles is a steady energy. It's a slow moving energy. But I feel like you guys are like kind of preparing yourselves to leave. Or you are preparing yourself for this change. And the time is now. So with that tower here, there's going to be some type of change within your career. Your business or whatever it is you're doing. But it's going to bring you in the Queen of Pentacles energy. March, I feel like it's going to look really good for you guys. It's going to look good. Yeah, you guys just weren't happy. You were ready to disconnect yourself from that from that situation so wherever you guys are at whatever you do it's like you felt like it wasn't in alignment for you um or it wasn't in alignment with you anymore and now you are going towards bigger and better things and then for others of you money is just going to be looking good for the next few days going into march march seems it looks very look very good for you guys i know it's what february 25th so we only have a couple days until february is over but it seems as if money is coming in because you have a will of fortune. Something is definitely one in your favor, turning in your favor, or the timing is now. And whatever this is coming in for you is bringing in a new beginning also. So let's see how the tower is here. Go to the tower. Wow, look, the Queen of Wands. You made some shit happen. Love it. So the Queen of Wands, she's in the upright. So the Queen of Wands in the upright, she's a manifester. She's a go-getter. She is um, ambitious, very confident. And what it is she does, she's using that fire energy. All of these are in the upright. This looks really good. The world card in reverse, you guys are coming out of a cycle. Or you guys were in a cycle um, with work, with your finances. And you guys are finally coming out of that cycle. All right. Um, I want to see why the queen of pentacles is here. Yep, the emperor. Some of you guys are starting a business. Some of you guys are starting a business. Or you're getting a bomb-ass promotion or, like, some type of raise. It's like you're stepping into management, okay? So, I mean, all the cards with career and finance look bomb. Queen of Cups, you're finally going after what you love. Love it. For some of you guys, you're leaving, like, um, I wouldn't say, like, a 9 to 5, but it can be. It could be an office job that you're leaving to go towards, like, something else. Like, maybe starting your own business, business or partnering up with someone. Or you're just leaving that to go towards something else, something that's going to make you happy, something that you do love. But what I'm also seeing is that um, some of you guys were like, the job that you had, it was okay. I feel like it was a stepping stone for you guys. But now, like I said, you guys are going on to, like you're going towards big and better things. So, for example, this can be you 
this can be you working like a nine to five, making like $20 an hour and going into management, making a hundred thousand a year. It's going to be something crazy like that. It's like, you're leaving a job that wasn't making you happy. It wasn't fulfilling. You weren't satisfied. You stayed there because it was just money. It was the hour or something like that. But it's like you're giving something an opportunity or a chance or with the queen of wands, you've really been manifesting some shit here and you're putting plans in action. You're making some shit happen. And it's like you have this huge blessing coming in for you guys with your finances and career. Okay, that's all I have to say. But with the ace of cups reverse and the three of pentacles reverse, it was like it wasn't taking you anywhere because you didn't love it. You weren't, your heart wasn't in it. There was no emotion in it with this energy here. But now that with the Queen of Cups, you're going towards what you love. You're going after what it is you love, what you want to do. It's coming with a blessing. Because you're no longer shorting yourself anymore with the Seven of Swords. Okay, you're no longer deceiving yourself, shorting yourself. The Seven of Swords can also be strategy. This can be you like, you know what? Like, no, like, I know I can do this. I know I can do that. For some of you guys, you may be tweaking your resume are doing something little, maybe something that is going to make you stand out or look better or something like that, but it's going to go in your favor. So, I mean, it might be you guys lying about a skill or something like that, but I feel as if you're going to study it, like you're going to study up on it. Whatever this is. And you're still being blessed by the universe. So, I don't know. You guys will know. And then as far as money, money's going to start looking bomb. Money's about to start coming in. Some of you guys are coming out of debt. You guys are like coming out of debt. You guys have been fixing your credit and all that good shit. So let's pull an angel of abundance oracle. And then we'll hop into the love portion. All right, guys. Let's see Finances and career for the collective. This is the overall energy for the collective with finances and career. All right, let's see. Wow, we have abundance mindset, but look what stood out, stood out to me. We have deserving this. So not only were you not into it, like your heart wasn't into it. The universe wanted you to know that you deserve this and that you were deserving of whatever is coming towards you. And now that you have changed your mindset, Queen of Wands, and you're very confident now, we have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. You're grounded, more stable. You've been doing better with your money. You know what it is you want. You know what kind of job you want. You know how much you want to make. You know your worth when it comes to work. The Queen of Cups is the emotion, the feeling behind it, putting your heart chakra into it. And then the Queen of Wands is you making it, making it happen. It's you manifesting it. It's your passion, your drive. And then we have abundance mindset. So you're changing your mindset. So it says deserving this. You are a beloved child of God like everyone else. And you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. So some of you guys are going towards your, your purpose, your life's purpose right now. And that can change. But right now, this is an alignment for you. And it says even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. And they wanted you to see how true truly amazing you are and for some of you guys maybe you had a moonlight okay moonlighting is when you work your regular job like your nine to five or your full-time job but you're starting your business and doing other things on the side until you're able to shift over into being full-time within your business or whatever it is you're doing and then we have take a divinely guided change so you guys took this divinely guided change and with that you guys change your mindset with the abundance mindset because you guys start manifesting this and bringing it to fruition. And then we have savings that came out as well. As you constantly say for your future, your future is saved. You do your future itself a big favor as you constantly set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. So it's also good to save, guys. With the Queen of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, you guys are going to make more money. So you guys will be able to save more. And even though you're making more money, it's saying like the savings card, don't take all your money and spend it all in one place. Start saving your money and putting your money up, investing. I'm hearing stocks. Like I got with someone that helped me get into like stocks and, and you know, taught me a thing or two. And I started investing because I was like, you know what? I was like, I was like, um, you know, like in the next year, 
two years, five years, ten years, like, like I want to, I want to be able to show for what I'm making. I want my money to, you know, like I want to see where my money's going. I want to bring money in. I want to keep it investing. I want to expand. I want to grow. You know, so it's good for you guys to save or start investing in stocks or start investing in something that's going to pay off in the long run. And for some reason, I'm also hearing life insurance. Okay, get your life insurance together. Set your kids up for success. Set your family up for success. Because you just never know what's going to happen. But you guys have this blessing coming in. And there's going to be a lot of change, a lot of growth. For some of you, it's like you're finally, you're going to be at the best point in your life. Like, I feel like this is it. Like, this is like, um, it's like it's your time. You know, like, this is going to be it for you guys. Like, not it far as like, it's like, this is it. But I'm saying like, it's your moment. It's your time. It's your time to shine. Like, the struggle is over. It's your time now. And I don't want to say the struggle, but the wait is over, the struggle is over, whatever. But you're now probably about to blossom and grow. All right. So that looks good for finances and career. Let's hop into the love portion. Let it not be crazy. All right. I'm back. Sorry about that, love. So let's hop into the love portion. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to kind of switch it up today. Let's see how you guys are feeling about love. And then um, I'm going to see how you're feeling about love. We're going to kind of look into your person. And kind of go from there. So let's see. When it comes to the collective, how does the collective feel about love? What are their thoughts and feelings when it comes to love? We have the King of Swords reverse. Judgment and the Ace of Wands. We have the High Priestess here. So you feel like you feel like there's someone out there for you. It's like you feel like love is coming in. The Ace of Wands is here. This could be a new beginning, a new connection, a past life connection coming in where it seems familiar. I feel like you question the person that you're with though. Or whoever this like so when I started the reading, whoever was on your mind. Then that's what I'm talking about. So it doesn't have to be an ex. It could be an ex. It could be someone new. Whatever. But with the King of Swords reverse, you're just not sure if that's it. Like the fact the person you're going to move forward with. With the King of Swords reverse, judgment is there. This can be something new. With the High Priestess, you may feel like they're the one. Or at times, you may feel like they're the one. But then I feel like you question it. But let's see how this King of Swords is coming up in reverse. This can be an air sign. universe why is the king of swords reverse when it comes to how the collective feels this can also be your energy kind of cold kind of shut off distant detached when it comes to love not giving in not believing the bullshit having trust issues you may feel like they're lying or whoever you're meeting is lying but it's like you're still like i know there's love out there for me king of swords reverse ten of cups reverse yeah so the person you're with it could be an air sign or a water sign you may feel like this they're not it there could have been a recent breakup too with the two of cups reverse and I feel like this situation, you may have felt as if it was your Ten of Cups. You felt like they were the one, but I feel like you kind of question it now with judgment here. You're like, mm, is this the one? You're like, I don't think they're the one. You're like, I know there's love out there. But I feel like you just, you kind of question this now. All right? You're like, I don't know. You're like, I don't know if this is it. I don't know if they're it. Let's see. Let's go into this King of Swords energy in reverse. Clear about the King of Swords in reverse. And this could have been a soulmate connection. It says we went through hell. We went through hell with heaven on our side. Okay. So you guys may have went through a lot. And maybe you were the one that broke things off with this person. And you have moved forward and you have healed. Because this looks like a new beginning. New love. You've caught judgment on a situation. I feel like this person is not over the relationship, possibly. And this is someone that took you through hell and back. You guys went through hell and back. And I feel like they're not over the relationship. They're not over you. They want to talk to you. 
And I also feel like this person may have said something that they didn't mean in the past and you reacted on it. Meaning that they could have said something like, oh, it's, I don't want to be with you anymore or I don't want this relationship. It could have been just something they said and you reacted on it. You caught judgment on the situation with this judgment card here. Now, for some of you, if this is new love that I see coming in with the sun, this looks positive. It could be new love coming in. This is telling me that you went through hell and back in a past situation. And this person may be trying to come back around and talk to you, but you're calling judgment and moving forward. So judgment, you've made a decision. You may also be forgiving this person with judgment. You may be like, you know what? I'm going to forgive, but I'll never forget. But at the same time, I see you guys wanting to move on. I see with the sun, the sun is also like healing energy. So I feel like a lot of you guys are just in a better place um, when it comes to your love life as far as what you want and what you're looking for. So let's see why judgment is here. We have the seven of wands. This is you standing your ground. All right. This is you setting boundaries. But I also feel like you're calling judgment um, with the seven of wands. So it's like you're standing firm in your decision. So you may tell this person like, yeah, I forgive you, but there's no second chances. That means you're serious. Like you're like, you know what? I forgive you, but no, we can't ever be back together. I'm ready for new love. That can be something that you're saying or telling them. But they're not over this relationship yet. There has been a breakup or a separation. And they're not over it. And we have the Knight of Cups reverse. So yeah, someone could be trying to come back. But you're like, nope, I'm going to take my time. I know there's someone out there. Knight of Pentacles, let me do it right. I feel like for a while, it was hard for you guys to forgive this person. But I see you guys forgiving this person so that you guys can move on and move forward. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Yeah, Ace of Swords. Yeah, you're ready for a new beginning. You made a decision. The Ace of Swords, you're ready for like a victory in love. You're ready for a new beginning in love. You're ready for something fun and exciting. You're ready for a relationship where you can commit and be happy, where there's a lot of passion, a lot of communication, and where there's also a connection. Where you guys have a strong connection. So to me, how you guys are feeling and where you're at when it comes to your love life is that some of you guys are getting over a person in the past situation. And they're not over you and they're trying to come back and talk to you and smooth things out and work things out. And you're kind of in the energy of like, you know what? I forgive you, but I will never forget. And then others of you, it's just like, like I said, you're like, no, I made my decision. We are, we're not getting back together. I'm moving forward. I'll always love you, King of Cups, but I got to move forward. The, and it could be something that they did to you in this relationship. Or uh, whatever you guys went through. Because remember it says we went through hell and back. So let's see why the high priestess is here. Remember this is you guys' this energy. We have the knight of pentacles. Like I said, you're taking your time. You know that someone's going to come in. You know that love is going to come in. You know that um, someone is coming towards you. The knight of pentacles also is an energy of patience. It's like you're being patient but and you're taking your time. Because again, the high priestess, she knows. She's aware. She's trusting her intuition. All right. So she knows love is going to come in. Then we have the six of swords. So this is you finally moving on. You're going your separate ways. You're at peace in this situation. I do feel like you spy on this person. Are they spying on you time to time with the seven of swords, page of swords? But no one is like putting energy into, into doing more than that. So if you're spying on them. Or I wouldn't say spying. You may just look at their social media time to time. But I don't think you're going to like any pictures or reach out. They can be doing the same thing. So let's pull a romance angel really quick. Let's see how you're feeling about this in your love life. Well, about your love life. So let's see how does the collective feel about their love life right now. We have, see, true love. You're waiting for true love. And we have healing family issues. So maybe something is going to heal between you and someone. And you guys are going to come together and be a family again because there's true love here. But maybe in between time or what do they say? And in, in the meantime, in between time, maybe you're just like, nope, I'm just going to do me and focus on me. For others of you, you're healing from this situation and you're calling a new love. You're forgiving this person. Like I just said, you're going to forgive so that new love can come in. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment and you guys could be attracting true love. True love could be coming in or coming towards you with this true love card. All right. So with that, we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, the verse is behind you. The verse is behind you. 
what you may have thought was true love, you may not feel like it is anymore. You may have been with someone and you thought that that was going to be the love of your life, that was true love. You know, we all got that one ex that we thought we were going to marry, have kids, we'd be together forever. And now you're moving on from that for some of you guys, okay? With the Ten of Swords here. So, no longer in fear, letting go. No longer blaming. You could have blamed them for some time with judgment there. Like, I gave so much to you and I thought this was true love and all that. And you're not doing that anymore. Yeah, four cups. Yeah. I feel like it was hard. I feel like it took you guys a while to get over this person, this relationship, this situation. There was a lot of love invested. And for some of you, you felt as if, like, because you invested so much into the situation, you felt like, um... You lost so much too. Because the Ace of Cups in reverse, what I mean is like you put, you poured your card into this. You put so much into it emotionally. All right. And it was just very, very, very hard for you to move, like move on, move forward. But it looks like new love is coming in where there will be true love. All right. But this situation, I mean, there could possibly be a turnaround with healing family issues. But right now, it looks like you guys are focused on new love and moving forward. All right. So um, let's just look at your person. All right, I'm sorry, guys. I'm back. So let's take um, a look into let's look into your person's feelings. Let's kind of see how they feel. Where was on your mind at this time? You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Reverse. Four of Swords. Okay, now for some of you guys, they just, they know like they have to just, you know, it's going to take some time, but they know they have to just get over it, over the relationship and move on because they have the Knight of Pentacles looking at the Two of Cups in reverse, Four of Swords. They know that they just, they have to move on from the relationship. They're going to have to heal and move on from this, but let's see how the Two of Cups is in reverse. Yeah, Page of Cups in reverse. You're not feeding into their bullshit. Page of Cups in reverse is you also like not giving them any attention. Okay, it's like they want your attention. They're going to try to do something to get your attention and you're not giving into it. Let's try to pay the cups in reverse. Yeah, the two of swords. And now they're just like, they may just be like, damn, like, they don't want me no more. Because the two of swords is here with the paper cups in reverse. All right, so it's like, I feel like you're like, you know what? Like, I'm giving you the same attention you gave me. And I don't feel like they like it. And that's why I say, like, the Knight of Pentacles, it's going to take them some time, you know. Um, but they're soon going to see, like, you're just not being receptive. You're not, just, you're just not open. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords. I feel like you've already told them that. I feel like you've already told them, like, look, I'm moving on. I'm over this. Page of Pentacles. But they thought they can come in with some type of offer. Or they thought that they can, you know, say something to change your mind for you to accept this offer. And I feel like you're not... Um, I do feel as if they do want to take you out or do something or they're going to buy you something or treat you or something like that. But I just still feel like you're like, no, this is it. Let's see how the Four of Swords is here. The Queen of Wands. And the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you're focused on other things right now. You are. And I feel like there could have been some, there could have been another, another person that they were talking to that you found out about. Or it's just telling like they're having sex with someone else, but it's nothing serious. You're still on their mind. They still think you're beautiful. They still want to be with you. Still want to move forward with you. Um, they may talk to other people, but there's no relationship, no strings. It's a no string situation. Um, let's see why the Queen of Pentacles is here. Once the Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Yep. See on each side. You like you just you let you you ended things. You're like no, the hey, man is here. Oh shit. You guys don't take cards at the round. That was the six of pentacles. But the hangman is here. So the hangman is like, you you, you, you took a pause. Like, you stopped. You paused so that you can reflect on this relationship. Four of swords. You're like laying it to rest. And it's like, they see your worth now, which is weird. Because that's how it always happens. When you end things or break up and move on, then it's like they start to see your worth. And, oh, like, I miss you. I want to be with you. It's like they kind of realize what they had. Yep. You, like, gave up. You're done. You're like, I'm not going to fight this anymore. You're like, I need to be at peace. I'm at peace. You're like, no. Mm-mm. 
So your energy, like in their energy towards you, they see for some of you guys that you're serious, that you're really moving on and you're not entertaining them whatsoever. And that whatever they bring you, whatever offer they make, whatever they buy you, however, I mean, wherever they take you or whatever offers they're making, it's like you're, you don't want, you don't want their offers. It's like you don't want what they're, you don't want what they are offering you. Let's see. Um, let's just see how they are currently feeling. Damn. So they read your old text messages. And it says our connection is crazy. So they feel like there's still a connection there, even though you guys are broken up. Or maybe they're just starting to feel, you know, like, maybe after the breakup, they're just like, wow, we really had a connection. There was really something there. And this is our reader old text messages. So they're reading the old text messages between you guys. Let's see how they feel. I'm in love with you, and I love you. So it's like this person is in love with you, and they love you. There's a difference when someone loves you versus being in love with you. So it's like this person is like, I love you, and I'm in love with you. And then we have this Queen of Wands here, Four of Swords. Like I said, you definitely cut them off. For some of you guys, you miss them. You do. But you're going to just keep moving forward. I thought like part of you wants to talk to them. Part of, part of you misses them. You want to say something. But there was also some hurt and disappointment. And you know that you need to separate yourself from this situation. Is what I'm getting. So in their feelings, it's like they realize what they had. It's a little bit too late. They love you. They're in love with you. They want to make some type of offer. They can't believe that you're not giving them any attention. They can't believe that you're not going to accept this offer. And they can't believe that you're just moving forward. They just can't. It says, I'm confronting my past. So maybe that's what they want to tell you. Like, maybe they're like, you know what? In the past, I had all these issues, you know, and I'm confronting my past. I'm confronting the past issues I have within me that came in between this relationship. But again, I just see you guys like, no, but let's see how they feel. Let's pull the romance angel to see how they feel towards you. So chemistry and passion, see? And they want to have some type of heart-to-heart conversation. So they have two romance angels that came out. We have chemistry and we have passion. So that would tell me that there is a lot of love here that they have for you. But are they just not realizing the love? Are they just not realizing all the love they have for you? Is this something that they're just not realizing? And I'm only saying that because in the cards for some of you, they're just now fucking realizing how much you mean to them. And we have heart-to-heart conversations. So they want to honestly discuss their feelings with you now. Now that you're not giving in or entertaining them or expressing your love or, you know, showing love, it's like now they want to, like, tell you how they feel. The heart to heart conversations. Yeah, they were running away from their feelings. They were scared for some of you guys with the seven of swords. Yes, yeah, the ace of wands reverse. They were scared. They were scared to, like, open up and tell you how they felt. They kept holding back their feelings. For some of you guys, ace of wands reverse, they were delaying something for a reason. Are delaying telling how they felt for a reason. It could have been the fact that they were trying to get over someone else, or they were just kind of confused between you and someone else. Because I also could see this as two different people that they were dealing with. So let's hop out of their energy. And um Let's see. I don't know. Do I want to do like. Let's just pull a couple cards. And let's just pull a couple for like singles. Third parties. Stuff like that. So. Let's see. Let's see. Singles. Couples. Third. And. 
No communication. Let's see what's going on. So singles. We have the Dev card in reverse and we have the Six of Wands in reverse. Who is this ex you're trying to impress? You're trying to get someone's inten attention. You haven't let go of someone. Or someone hasn't let go of you. We have the death card reverse. You're hoping that they're going to come back. Or you haven't moved on from them. Six of wands reverse. That can be you, you know, like, looking all good, looking all pretty. Or just, if you're doing something different than you did before to get their attention. Or it's like, this is a relationship that has failed. And you want them back. And maybe they're giving attention to other people. Singles. But let's see. For some of you, your love life is just not interesting. It's with the, for singles. It's like you're not entertaining anyone. No one is entertaining you, and you don't want your ex back. Death cards are reversed. They may want you back, but you may not want them back. So let's see how the Six of Wands are reversed. Page of Wands. Five of Swords. Yeah, and you may feel like the, the ex or whoever this is is full of shit, lies. You may feel like they just want to have sex and get attention. The Shame card. Yeah, you feel like they just hold you back, or you feel like they're going to hold you back. They could already be in a committed relationship with the higher font here. The strength card could be a Leo. Maybe you're a Leo. We have Scorpio energy. Maybe you guys do have a bond or some type of connection here. Okay, with the um strength card. Maybe you guys have some wild, kinky type situation. But you're like, no, I want more than sex. I want a commitment. Or you just may feel like you don't have time for the bullshit and games. We have, I'm feeling insecure. So maybe this person makes you feel insecure. Or maybe this person feels insecure. Okay, maybe they do. Maybe they like when you stroke their ego. Maybe they like the attention that you give because we have unexpected text messages and we have I'm feeling secure. So, I mean, insecure. So, someone's going to text you out the blue singles, you know, trying to meet up with you, see you, or you already know what they're about for singles. All right, for couples, we have temperance and the empress card. So, it looks like things are working out behind the scenes. It looks like things are going to get better. And um, for those of you that are in relationships with temperance and the empress, you could be a Sagittarius, a Libra, or a Taurus. For some of you guys, you are trying to get pregnant. It's been taking a while, and it's about to happen. Couples, um, but if not with Temperance and the Empress, there's a lot of love here. A lot of love. A lot of love. And things are definitely working out behind the scenes. We have it with the Magician Reverse. We have it with the King of Wands. But couples, you may feel like your person is doing something behind your back or lying. Are you feel like they're, um, let me see. Let's go into this magician in reverse. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, real card, King of Cups. No, I wouldn't say that. I feel like in the past they did something. And, are you may feel like they did, or, this can just tell me, like, lately they've been just very nice, very loving. They've been doing more than normal, but they've been expressing themselves to you guys more. I'm in love, like just doing more loving things. Like something has changed with them. So, like if you wanted wanted to spend more time with them, they're spending more time with you. If you wanted more massages, they're giving you that. Like it's like you guys, something is changing here. It is. It is. Whatever you felt like was missing. They're bringing that to the table, like meaning like they're going to start doing that. They're putting more love into this relationship. Something is definitely working out behind the scenes. Um, so let's see, couples. We have, I used to feel lost without you. we have I have to let this burn where's my sage so maybe they were going through something or maybe you guys are going through something and this person kind of felt lost without you this looks like a reconnection and it looks like this time around things are going to be better and stronger between you guys and they're showing you more love they're giving more love it's like they're there they're taking action the magician is in reverse but the magician in reverse now that I'm seeing it is that the magician in reverse can hide how they feel or this person could kind of like, kind of hide, like not who they are, but maybe they wanted to be a certain type of way and they were like scared to show that part of them. But now with the King of Wands, they're very confident or they're more confident now. Or like I said, this could have been them hiding their feelings or um, just kind of keeping things from you. It doesn't have to be anything serious. 
But I feel like someone was just feeling lost or something was going on and they felt lost without you because we see a reconciliation here and they could have thought it was over for good or maybe you did. But it seems like you guys are going to work it out and come back together. Or you guys are back together now. Um, so singles, couples, third parties. We have the lovers in reverse, ten of wands. So why are you dragging this out? Why not let this go? Ten of wands here. Lovers in reverse. Now, the lovers in reverse is telling me, like, yeah, there is a third party. There's some type of love triangle here. And then we have the ten of wands. You're carrying the weight and the burdens of this third party. You're stressing yourself out more than you need to be. Just, I'm not going to say just detach and let go. But it's like you're putting yourself in this energy of the ten of wands because the lovers is reversed. So it's telling me, like, you could have been let go. You could have been detached. You could have been moved on. You could have been freed yourself from this situation. So let's see how the lovers is reversed. The six of wands reverse. So again, like, why do you keep giving attention to the situation? The queen of pentacles reverse. Go to the ten of wands. Why the ten of wands here? Six of cups. Four of pentacles reverse. You're waiting for them to break up with someone so that you guys can connect and come together and be closer and be happy. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Wands, Three of Pentacles. They may be fighting with this person, arguing with this person. They, there may be in some type of disagreement. But what I will say right now is the Queen of Pentacles, even though she's in reverse, that Three of Pentacles is going there and they have a relationship, some type of contract, something with her. And she's not going anywhere right now. She's not. She's not going anywhere right now, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So it's just like, with the Ten of Wands, it's like, like I said, stop dragging this out. Stop stressing yourself. You know, um, stop feeding into it for some of you guys. Let's see overall energy for third parties. And when they're not getting the attention and what they want with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and when this Queen of Pentacles in reverse is being mean, then it's like they want to be with you. They want your attention. They come towards you. All the type of stuff. And it says, the distance between us is killing me. They may miss you, yeah, or maybe you miss them. Okay, because there's been distance. Uh-oh. And I don't take cards off the ground. And we have, I start tripping when I miss you. So I feel like this, like, I feel like you guys do distance yourself. Because we have the distance between us is killing me. So maybe you do distance yourself. But then I feel like you kind of distance yourself for way too long. Or maybe you guys do fall back and then they start tripping. And then they're coming towards you like, oh, like, well, I don't want this person. I'm going to leave them. You know, I'm not going to be with you. And at the bottom, we have, I want more. I deserve more. Final answer. Let that be your final answer. Okay? Because you want more. You deserve more. Don't come over here because shit at home is looking, is looking crazy or because I distance myself. Like, so it's like third parties, I just feel like whoever you're dealing with, it's the same old shit. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the Queen of Pentacles in reverse still has not left. She's still in the picture, still in the situation, regardless if they argue with that person or not. And if the situation is so bad, why haven't they been left? Is what I'm getting, also getting. You distance yourself from them. They start tripping. You're telling them that you want more. They may give you a little bit more when they come back around. Or they, they have you thinking or feeling as if they're going to give you more. But you're still not getting more right now. Out of this situation. And with um, no communication, we have the hey man and we have justice in reverse. So it could be a Pisces or a Libra. Justice in reverse is some type of unjust, some type of lie, some type of imbalance. Um, the hey man is a delay, a pause, a setback. Let's see what's going on. Why is the hey man here? Seven of Swords, Four of Wands. They got caught. They ghosted you guys. They got caught up. So they had to like put things on hold. They haven't reached out to you for that for that reason. We have justice in reverse. They were either lying to you. They got caught up in a lie. Why is justice in reverse? Three of Pentacles in reverse. And the Knight of Wands. Yep, this there's a third party, no communication. And it's like they got caught up. They were they got caught up. 
I also feel like if there's no communication, the last time you guys talked, you guys were supposed to see each other or meet up or something, and they didn't show up. And that's because they got caught up in their lie. So they stopped talking to you to kind of like, um, I guess to like, I guess, you know, so their situation won't look so bad. I don't know. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys are in a serious relationship. They're in a serious relationship for some of you guys. The Moon in Reverse and the Ten of Swords in Reverse. Yep. And their person found out. And they told their person that they weren't going to see you anymore, talk to you anymore. But they didn't tell you anything. And that's how there's no communication. So let's see. No communication. We have vacation. For some of you guys, they just recently went on a vacation with someone. Are they going on a vacation or they're on a vacation with someone? And that could be another reason why they're not talking to you. But I feel like you guys could have also went on a vacation. Or you guys were planning some type of vacation or trip before all this happened. We have the answer is yes. Give me one more card. You can't finesse me. But what is the answer yes to? The answer is... The answer is yes, what is this about? Three of Cups. So if there's no communication, they're hoping that you're going to say yes or the answer is yes to them wanting to take you on a vacation or a trip or, or you guys are going to hook up and do something. But we have it with judgment in reverse. I will rethink that or just, you know, think about it because I feel like whatever they're, it's like, because we have the three of cups. You guys are going to see each other or talk to each other again. But it comes with ju judgment in reverse. So it's like. And with the nine of cups, it's like this. Okay. Let's go into you can't finesse me. By a priestess and the tower reverse. Yeah. I feel like you kind of know something isn't over. And I feel like that's what you're going to find out. Or that's what you found out. Or you guys found out about a relationship or something. And there's no communication. I don't know. Someone found out about a trip or a vacation or something like that. I want to break down judge, judgment reverse. Nine of wands reverse. The nine of cups. See? It's a swords reverse. Lion playing both sides. So I just feel like this energy here. Don't let them finesse you. Don't let them play on you. Don't. Don't let them play on you. And but oh, I had to take care of business. I had to go do this. I had to do that. No. And you aren't the only one. Neither is a person. I just leave it there. Okay. Um. Even though they told someone that they weren't going to talk to you anymore. They got caught up in something. And with the Ten of Pentacles and the answer is yes, someone asked someone to marry them on vacation, on a vacation. And you're going to see it. You're going to see it. You're like, you're going to find out. Like, don't lie to me. You can't finesse me. Don't play me. In yeah, there's a lot going on with no communication, people. All right, so I might just do a reading later with no communication, third party stuff like that. But yeah, there's a lot going on, no communication. Alrighty, so that's the reading for today, guys. I just try to switch it up today, like I did yesterday. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow in the daily reading. All right, I love you guys. Stay dope. Enjoy your nights, and love you much. Bye, loves.